Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to work on this landing page of Uber Eats clone. I wanted to keep the design a little bit simple. Simple uh, login sign up page and we have a landing page. And this is a kind of uh, design we are going to build. Simple header with uh, the landing page and some menu icons. I wanted to keep it simple initially then we will we'll do more enhancement and we will make. So this is our simple setup. Like these are the, all the applications we already have. Auth service, gateway service, proxy dashboard admin we already worked on now this is the uber eats which is going uh, which is going to be a simple react app we are using the latest react version and you can see this is the ts config we are writing react typescript and this is the tailwind config we are not extending any theme or something we are just using the base configurations now if you look at the package.json tailwind config and ts config these are like the basic setup and if you look into the setup like how we can use a tailwind with the react app then you need to use a crackle for that i mean you just need to replace the create react script with the crackle and you just use the crackle script like crackle start build and test it's just like our other npm module which you need to add so that you can use the tailwind with the react app this is what i know from my previous setup and this is how we are acquiring the tailwind css and the auto prefecture in the Craco config. So when you do a Craco run start, it knows okay it needs to require the Tailwind CSS, uh, CSS and auto prefecture. And you also need to take care of the versions of the post CSS and the Tailwind CSS because there is a compatibility issues. So I will share this uh, project and then we'll start building on top of that. So this is just like a basic dependencies we have. React, React DOM, post CSS, auto prefecture post css is we are using version 8 auto prefecture version 9 and then all rest all are required dependencies for the react project like react react dom type definitions and some testing library and the craco so this is uh, our minimal setup looks like now what we are going to do is we are going to just create a react components and we will start building our ui First of all, I will just build this a uh, little bit empty UI because we don't have much. Hi everyone. So this is our setup looks like. This is like a very basic create react app. And here we are adding the styles because we are going to use the tailwind styles. So we are adding them and index.css if you want to override something inside tailwind. We can just import uh, tailwind base, tailwind component, tailwind utilities. These are the three, uh, you can see the libraries we are adi adding for the tailwinds. And then you can add that these styles inside your index.css that should be enough. Now what we are using, we are using react router DOM because we are creating a single page application and there has been many changes since I use the react router version 3. Now we are using version 6 and here we need to do things little differently. I check the documentation how it works. So I'm just creating a layout component which which may be a simple for header and then body which is dynamic and then the footer so i will just create this so in the layout we are just replacing the outlet and there is a header component which we can just create inside header and if we just see here we will just create a header or tsx and uh, we just define what uh, how our new world looks like and we will create all the other components like for the home page we also have a full a screen banner then we have menu items footer component and all so we will just create a simple hello world uh, messages in all those components so that we can import those components to from our uh, uh, router so this is app.tsx here we will be importing header from components and first of all we are creating this layout and then then we, you can refer this layout inside the the route so you need to return it, return some dummy JSX, maybe a span tag, that should be enough. And then we will be importing this inside our component. And here, this is the new definition of, uh, this is how you define the router now in the React. You created a layout and then you can just refer that layout to for a particular index. So all these routes and inside these routes, I will be defining all my routes. So this is the index element. Uh, I think I need to specify the layout also. So what is the, the root layout looks like? So for all the elements which I'm going to define inside this route will have the layout this particular which has so 
it is like for all these routes the header will always be there only the body will change based on the route path which you are providing so this layout which i'm passing at line number 18 will say is that uh, all these uh, path i'm going to define inside the routes will have all these paths also already available so now we want to have a header for our uh, home page for any particular page where we need to have a header all those components we can define here so sign in sign up uh, okay sign in sign up and we will just create these home components so just like a basic definitions of uh, react router and for for forward slash path this layout will be added and then when you when you are hitting forward slash by default it will take you to the home page otherwise when you click on forward slash sign in it will take you to the sign in and the sign up page so these are the two other components which we need to create inside the pages let's say we create a pages i mean i'm just trying to create a basic boilerplate structure we are going to build on top of this a lot it's just like inside our pages we are creating just a sign in sign up and the home page and these are just uh, components and those components will refer these are like the pages the main routes these main routes will refer the components which i'm creating inside a components folder so let's fill in some of our components so inside the pages we will just uh, create a placeholders like this is the home component this is a sign in and a sign up and then these components will refer the components we are creating inside this folder components so it's just like a simple a folder structure we are creating this is the home component this is referring to the home component which we are going to create inside the the components it's just like the basic folder structure we are going to have a redux hooks all those concepts uh, like the the api layer Redux, all those two links available in these folders. For now, we are just creating a simple landing page so that I can make it ready to deploy on the cloud. So I'm going to use AWS for that. So I just need a simple. We already have an admin dashboard, and I just wanted to create a, some landing page in the React app so that we can start preparing the deployment. And then once the deployment is set up, is ready, we will just start building these applications again end to end. So what I'm doing here is just a home component which I'm referring from uh, the, uh, the components folder. So similarly I will do for others sign in and the sign up and then we will start building the header component. So we are using Tailwind and Tailwind utilities are awesome. Let's uh, build our header components. So here you can see here we are importing all the required components for the router because we have created a sign in sign up and the home page route these are the three pages we are going to build so all these things we are importing from the pages sign in and similarly for the sign up so here you can see sign in and sign up now everything is good our application is running on 3000 and we can see something coming up now uh, we are inside a header component right so header component is we are going to use a tailwind new bar thing new bar components like showing simple logo on the top and then uh, just two different buttons if user is not logged in then we will just show a simple button sign in and the sign up and uh, by default when user hit the forward slash we will take him to the home page otherwise there are sign in and the sign up routes so now this is our simple header component which is just returning the header we can start building this header component so we are going to use these tailwind utilities for it to build it simply just a header tag and then just nav tag and tag and then just use these uh, tailwind classes so we already have imported tailwind uh, styles inside our tailwind.css which we are importing in the app.tsx so this is just like our header so what we are going to do is background transparent and then we'll just the position is fixed it's on top uh, top zero left is zero because we don't need any padding margin from the top and from the left and we can just see our transition and then couple of properties transition duration is like some animation once it appears so this is just a simple header now what we can do is we will just add a new class or uh, inside this header new class will have some classes like flex flex layout item center justify center 
next width and margin auto so what it will do is it will try to centralize the content so margin horizontal auto that means whatever you put that uh, you can set a particular width and it can have a left and the rightmost uh, space already added now inside this we have a flex container inside the flex container we have just uh, first of all we are going to have a simple logo because we have already seen the design design of header doesn't have much it just has simple logo and these are the, the two buttons so flex flex grow this is the flex uh, and here we are going to put our uh, logo i guess so we can just use image source we will find some url to capture what is the the logo of this then we can set some classes for this image so this is the div tag inside the navbar and now this is the first logo and after that we have two buttons to be placed in so uh, we will just use the classes flex grow here flex item center and these two buttons are being added uh, at the end so justify end what it will do is it will move these two buttons to the end of the the flex container and space x horizontal spacing i have added and instead of this images we have buttons so we'll just repeat these buttons twice there is a sign in and the sign up button and then we'll just add some classes to make the the border rounded adding the margin padding background color and all those things now uh, we can see something is coming up we will just remove this home label but uh, this is just a simple container we have added it is not coming full width uh that means we need to add a uh, width full class so that it can take a horizontal full space yes at least uh, our layer styles are working i can see that uh, tailwind classes are being populated whatever we have added and uh, now we can add the classes for the button so for the header the the remaining part is adding the width full class and then styling the buttons with the background color so i need to add some styling for the background primary colors and we also need to add a logo of uber eats that's the only remaining part in the header otherwise header is kind of done it has just a simple two buttons and just a simple logo now we are going to design our home page but before that these are the some additional styles we are going to add which is background primary background primary dark text primary and uh, we are going to design the home page with the two components there is just a simple for the full page banner with some image and then we are going to create a landing page menu item grid that shows these different uh, menu items just for simple showcase so here we are going to create a landing page and the banner these are the the two components we are going to create so banner will have a full page image and then there is a simple label and a simple search area search field if you see our simple designs which we have showcase home page doesn't have much just a simple full page banner so we are going to create these both the components banner and the landing page grid okay landing page grid is empty and here inside this header this is actually the home page we will just change the label so here this is how our header looks like with just simple logo and the header uh, buttons and now inside this header uh, after this header we are going to create a simple banner so this is currently we are writing the the banner component so header banner header banner is just like a class which i need to add which covers the whole page uh, width height is 96 and background is yellow so this is just like a fixed container i'm adding with the height of 96 and this is header banner i am adding with the background image background size background position because we want to cover the full width so background image we already have a background bg.png and then background size background position uh, all these and background repeat because there is no repeat we are want a full image covering the whole width so background repeat no repeat background position center center and background size cover because that image should cover the whole background which we have so just a simple styles which we have added header banner styles we will add to our banner component which we have added so this is how it looks like right 
we have two buttons and header banner and then we will start adding because we, what we need is just a simple message or simple menu with the text field where user can enter his city and can explore the food menu items in that particular city just a simple design so it's like a flex column item center height full and then inside that we will just show some message and then another div inside this which will have a simple text field and the button so text center text 3xl these are like i'm using these tailwind uh, add-ons so that is helping me to write a styles because i don't need to remember each and every style which i'm writing and this is like uh, the fonts we are using pop-ins so i will be using that font style font class name everywhere font semi bold and text gray uh, 600 700 so this is like a simple label we wanted to show on the home page to so explore food items best in your city or whatever and then we will have another div which will just have input text field and just a simple button so div class name rounded full padding one and the, the box border and this is the border margin top 8 background white and overflow hidden and all these simple properties flex item center and then this is the div inside this we will have input type text this is like a simple text field and one simple button we are going to have so for that button we will just add these background primary classes and for the input text field it's going to be the full width input text field uh, rounded full uh, there is a horizontal padding and width full background transparent and simple input text field and then uh, a simple button uh, if i add it it's getting added just below to that we need to make it vertically centered inside our banner component so we will see how we can do it so these are simple but classes text sm background primary uh, rounded full to make it the rounded border text white uh, and uh, transform so it's like a simple button we have so button with simple label like search so we need to use the button tag for that opening and closing and put just a search text inside it so this is how it looks we need to style it a little better maybe vertically center it so what we will do so let's inspect this div what it contains okay we have this uh, new bar then the header panel component which has a uh, width full and then we have flex container inside it with some label and the buttons item center justify center i think some class is missing here which is not making your content vertically centered here Now let's see if I add a justify center. Okay, this works. So I just added a justify center and then width full class is already there. Justify center on the line number eight and it works because it is centrally, uh, it is making it centrally aligned. And then I need to show some kind of a menu items like food menu items. This is simple mock area I have. So this mock area of food items, which is a breakfast, dinner and lunch, we can show that on the landing page. What we will do is we already have a JSON object, some mock data, a scrap data, and then that scrap data we are just going to iterate and show this in the landing grid. I just need to show some dish menu image icons with the simple descriptions. Okay, this is what it is. Because uh, instead of that, we are going to fetch the data from the restaurant and we need to fetch the whole list based on the geolocation that's a target. So here we can see we are building the landing grid component and uh, what this component will do is this will component will fetch the, the mock data which we already have in the mock json and then it will just iterate to that number of uh, rows and how we can do it we'll just uh, import the mock data in this component landing food menu grid or food menu item and here we are going to use the state because because by default the selection will be for the breakfast but uh, there is a menu switcher where you can switch the menu to breakfast dinner and lunch 
so the current state current type we have set as a breakfast and then we have this state where we are going to store the mock data of food menu items using huge state and then when you click on to different tabs we will set the type we will uh, change the type and based on the type we need to do the filter also so it's like a basic filtering we are doing it with the react components we have some mock data and we will play with the mock data inside a state when you click on to one button and change the types property so here let's uh, build this component so it's like a simple section with the three horizontal tabs tab switcher like you can see as three different buttons this is uh, a horizontal vertical margin we have added and max screen margin auto horizontal auto and then so inside this we have a div class which is using some flex container flex justify center item center and inside this uh, we are going to have three simple menu buttons which you can just uh, toggle by just clicking onto them on click set type uh, so the, let's say this is for the breakfast and here we will just put the label so similarly this will be repeated three times and we will add some classes like uh, menu item background primary because these are the buttons and we need to switch the classes also when you click on a particular button that button will become active or that tab will become active so we will add some active classes also and we will repeat it thrice and this is for dinner and this is for lunch this is like a simple landing page i am trying to build and first of all i am not good at uh, building the, the uis when i see okay some simple designs i can build with the tailwind utilities that's what i'm i'm learning i primarily work on the backend apis backend developer but for this uh, full stack clone I am putting more focus on the UI also to have some kind of let's say we already have this admin dashboard created similarly let's we are creating this UI and here you can see we are using the grid layouts grid column 2 and for the um, medium and large screen the column layouts will be 3 and 4 so it's like a simple CSS grid and Tailwind provide these grid classes and inside this grid now you can just uh, iterate on to your uh, food items Put items dot map and render each and every item inside this so we already have an image name description currency all these basic properties we can just render that in the gss and then when you switch to that when you click on to that we are going to uh, change the data of food items because you are changing the type so whenever the type changes this use effect will trigger and we will filter the data and we will set the new data in the set food item I dot type equal equal to type based on that the new data will be set in the food items and we, will, we, we are just doing a dot map onto that so dot map will just print that values so now let's build rest of our design here we are using tailwind and let's say if I wanted to override a particular class then this is how I can do it layer components and I will just apply the these styles for the menu tab wherever I use this particular style in my components so we have these menu tab and menu tab active these are the two styles on the, the landing page because when you click on one button we have to make it active and make it a little bit different than others so man, menu active menu tab and then we are going to apply these particular classes for the active menu tab so what we are going to do in on the landing page uh, we have these classes and we will just apply these classes there based on the selected type uh, we have for the tabs so we will go to our page which is landing page grid and here we can see we will just replace these to the appropriate types and uh, you can see these are the mock food here we have the types available dinner lunch and breakfast and then we can just check a little bit on the UI do the formatting and here we can see I just pasted this from my template and this is how it looks like a simple switcher with just a simple menu items now the next thing we are going to do is building these sign in the and the sign up pages 
because these are just a simple forms we are i'm just going to create some empty form for the template simple two text field for the sign in and the four text field for the sign up username password repeat password and for the sign in just an email and the password okay so this is going to be a because this is going to be a whole layout so we are going to define consume the whole screen and you can see instead of this we are going to use simple banner class so this banner class will be used inside our header inside our sign in and sign up page there will be a common background and then we are going to have flex container flex flex column and justify center and inside this vertical flex column we are going to put our sign in and the sign up form and it should consume the the height and the inside the form we just put the classes it's still the flex container flex column is the layout and it is covering the whole width and the banner is just to put the the background image of the sign in and the sign up page background white width is 96 margin top padding and the rounded large okay this is like a, a simple container the white container we have created for the form and inside this white container of the form we'll just create these three text fields okay it's like a minimum space which we have this is the actual form tab is will build the sign in and the sign up page in the middle of the screen based on the classes we have added so background white uh, width 96 and then there is a flex container and here we are going to add our input text fields input type text and couple of classes of input text fields like rounded uh, background margin padding space input type email name email and then the class names for the email is width full and horizontal padding and the same we will add to the sign up here we have a sign in and the sign up routes you can see we can switch to these okay this input text field is coming a little bit uh, left so let's see what we can do this is our sign up page justify center item center Then we are going to add here okay this is coming up nicely now and this has the background white so we'll just repeat this input text field couple of times and we'll add all the required classes so it's going to be uh, rounded you can just add a margin padding and uh, background color all these simple properties rounded lg and I mean there are many classes you can add in the tailwind tailwind helpers these are the pseudo classes on the focus what will happen on the active what will happen on the hover what will happen like you can show some border when you do a hover and the focus so border gray 300 border when you do the focus we can also drop some shadow and the transition transition duration uh, is 300 And now we'll just repeat this to multiple times. So if this is a sign up page, you will do it like this. And for the sign in page, you will do the same with just uh, two text fields. And you'll just change the input type text, input type password, input type email. And we just populate the ID properties and the name properties in all the input text fields. So they look different from one another, not like the same input type everywhere so this is a sign up page i need to go to sign up and i can see something is coming up so and then i just have one button on the bottom with some margin top and that button will have a background primary class so it can have a green background and then just a login and sign up pages and then we can show add some labels like sign in sign up label on the sign in page and sign in label on the sign up page and login with the google and all the other options if those are available 
so button with full padding background primary and then just uh, text excel text white so this is our simple tiny layouts you can see sign and sign up and our landing page so this is just like some placeholder ui i wanted to create that's just for landing page and sign in and sign up now what we will do is we will build on top of this like customizing the header and we will create a nice dashboard like when you click on search then we are going to fetch the list from the apis and then we are going to create a nice layout where you can store your addresses your previous order your historical data your new order your checkout menus and all so it's like a, just a landing page nothing much uh, to keep it going now we will add uh, some dashboard so when you click on search and when you click start adding things inside a cart we need uh, some ui screens where we can show all the different tabs okay your previous orders your current order and if you want to do some modifications and, and all all those things are possible so we have created this landing page and admin dashboard is already ready let's uh, bootstrap our deployments and we will see these things on some live urls <laughs> 